I'm gonna smack that ass. So anyways, words in the English language can't describe the amount of gratitude and appreciation I have for my experience up here in Alaska and just the people I've met and I can't, let, let's just go. So I have just begun backpacking the world and my longest stop so far has definitely been Alaska. I've been here for five months, working a seasonal job, having the best experiences of my life. And this whole video is gonna sum up pretty much my thoughts throughout the summer and little clips and visuals of things I experienced. So let's go. One of the first things I learned when I got out here was it was time to let out my wild side and express my inner child to the fullest, like never before. One thing that I awakened to was a lot of people from where I was coming from, like New York and those areas, the lower 48 states, people are scared to just genuinely be themselves, be their, their childlike selves and quote unquote people would say weird but to me it's just unique and different and we need more of that in the world because if everyone is the same and on the same accord um i don't think humanity could go much further at least as a unit and here instead of you being judged by what you're wearing, what kind of shoes you're wearing, and what kind of brands you got on. People here want to know what countries have you been to, um, what kind of art are you into, etc., etc. It's just a beautiful thing. This is what it really means to be human. Just that that type of connection, you know, and it's, it's very special. It'll take another road right here. Yeah, just packs up more and more. It's pretty cool. It's all coming from a glacier, right? One thing I definitely enjoyed here is just the slow pace of life here. I mean, there is no rat race. People are not rushing to get places unless it is very urgent. And that just adds more quality to your life because you're not constantly on the move, trying to get somewhere. You're just living moment by moment, having good conversations. I mean, it's little things like that that matter. Just that little conversation you have with your neighbor about um, whatever, the bear you saw yesterday or just little things with your phone out of sight. Little things like that is what just brings the human back into people and just awaken something inside of you. It's, it's a beautiful thing. I think Alaska could hold the nickname The Last Frontier for a variety of reasons. Not only the untouched and abundant wilderness, but also it carries this sense of spirit within it. Despite it being colonized like 90% of the world, it still holds just the that sweet air, mystical feeling that you just instantly kind of feel a relief when you're in the land and don't get me wrong happiness is not an external material thing and it comes within but what i'm saying is a place like this with so much nature you can only stay so unhappy in in such a place your connection to the animals and spirits around you just inevitably grow But it takes time, like everything else, lots of patience. And it's a matter of just sitting still and paying attention. Hey. And I never want to be. 
Surrounded by so much nature is a natural detox and brings out the musical rhythm to everybody around you. I don't feel like picking up my phone, so leave a message at the tone. Cause today I swear I'm not doing This is fucking nuts, bro. So I'm cold. sorry, y'all. I'm low key delirious sometimes. <laughs> Sam, don't worry. Get it. Anybody who came, she came out there. Yeah, great. Right here on the back of the truck. I feel like we're in the back of a carriage, bro. Like, yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good way of looking that at it, right? Fucking yeah, rolling down like a bumpy awesome. road. Yeah. Right? Um, oh, gentlemen, will you stop over here? I have my stop. Let's <laughs> <laughs> meet a cup of tea right here. A cup of tea over here. Take my stop. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a lovely day, right? Ah, uh, lovely. Uh, lovely. lovely. Very lovely day. <laughs> it's today. Very lovely. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> my stop is up next, yeah? <laughs> I had lots of silly moments of happiness. Like here, I was on top of a mountain on Mount Healy, and this was the first time I had ever climbed a mountain. And I did it solo, and I was just so happy and just taking in the moment, being a child, as always. It's something about mountains that's just so peaceful and earthing. Like when you're up there, you just like, I don't know, you, you just you look at the sun, you take in the, the quietness, and you look below you, and you just feel royalty and as you just look miles and miles ahead, it's so peaceful. I cannot really explain it. Say that one more time. Man, I remember this day I went camping for the first time with these two. It was amazing. It was cold. It was a pretty cold night. It was like in the 40s, 30s and extremely windy, but so worth it and very, very peaceful. I'm pretty excited. This is my first time camping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You never got camping at all. Yeah. I did a van camp one time, but that shit was it's cold. miserable. It's chilly. You know what that's like, though. Yeah. So we doing it. We doing it. That's what we came here for, you know? Oh. You rolled in the tent? What? You didn't roll it in the tent? <sighs> oh, man, I got my tent right here. Bright ass light. Oh, it's 2 something a.m. Then you want to hit that to it? That's insane. That's awesome. You know, you know the one that's been around camp? Yeah. He walked past my car. He was taller than the car. Oh, wow. Yeah. Rut and toot. Oh, gee, eh? Just logging around. Oh, you're a bad habit too. <laughs> so right? sorry. Sorry. My feet are too small. ugly. Oh my god, oh Sam, you have baby feet. <laughs> what the Jesus. hell? My feet are ugly, or else I would Sam, do that. you have such small feet. <sighs> I'm peeling like a snake on my toast. feet right now. Tara. By your toes. Alright, so is this because you have a foot fetish? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you. 
So while out here, I picked up some little farming. I made a little farm. I planted some lettuce and a bunch of other random herbs. Mostly was focused on the lettuce and this just kept some discipline around me and kept me looking forward to something and had me checking on something every day. And I, there's something I just love about planting my own food because one day I will have acres of land on the motherland. So this was just a little beginning. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite things about hiking was just the random people I would meet and have great conversations with and just learn so much within one day, one hour. It was amazing. I had a lot of dialogue with people from all over and it was just amazing, man. Just, it's just real life. Campfire, tent, set up, look at this view. Got a little creek right here. It's dried up now, but it's a wonderful view. Overall, I'd like to set an example for all of my people that it's okay to come to places like this and people aren't out to get you. Though there is a global, definitely, definitely a global prejudice against indigenous black people globally all over the world, not just Africa, but we are all in this together. And I want you guys to know, as long as you keep that connection with the ancestors and spirit, you will always be guided and protected. Remember, if it weren't for you, many things in this world would not exist. Your bloodline contains the bloodline of the most powerful, spiritually connected, divine people to ever walk the face of the earth. And I'm just here expressing that, living my life, you know, trying to figure things out, learn the truth of things and just get experience so I could pass down knowledge to my children, to my children's children's children and etc. Because it all starts with us. It starts today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, but right now. The future is now. So take action and use your life wisely and just have fun. Be very lighthearted and loving and everything is not going to be perfect. Don't be afraid to express emotions that are perceived as negative such as anger and sadness because through those emotions is how we expand and gives us the motivation to do great things if you use it properly so just travel the world and see what what's out there and see where you belong or see where you fit in and most of all just get the education make up for those years you wasted in high school elementary school and middle school i'm not gonna sugarcoat it 